それでは首都圏登録いただきましょう一緒にずっと読んでいますけれども喫茶は九章の21節から31節を取り上げましょう、まあ、先週の続きです覚えてらっしゃるでしょうかサウロという人のことを話しましたイエス様を信じる人、イエスに従うものを迫害する人だったんですけれども、変えられたという話をしたいと思います。And Saul was well known for、uh, persecuting Christians,、um, but the story that we talked about last week、um, mentioned that he had had a conversion and that he turned from his, his old way of persecuting. ではいつものように少しずつ読みながら話をするといます。As usual, I want to read some of the passage and then talk about it. 最初に21節、22節読みます。これを聞いた人々は皆非常に驚いていった。あれはエルサレムでコロナを呼び求める者たちを滅ぼしていた男ではないか。また、ここへやってきたのは彼らを縛り上げ、最初たちのところへ連行するためではなかったか。しかしサウロはますます力を得てイエスがメシアであることを論証しダマスコに住んでいるイリア人をうろたえさせた11世紀ごろの地図なんですけれども、先週、サウロがダマスコの町に向かう途中でイエスに出会った。ダマスコというのはこっちのちょっとですね。ちょっと字がちっちゃい。イエスを信じる者を迫害する者からイエスを伝える者に変えられたと話しましたイエスを信じる者を迫害する者から、イエスを伝える者に変えられたと話しましたイエスを信じる者を迫害する者から、イエスを伝える者に変えられたと話しましたイエスを信じる者を迫害する者から、イエスを伝える者に変えられたと話しましたイエスを信じる者を迫害する者から、イエスを伝える者に変えサウルはイエスを認めない人々にとっては最悪の裏切り者になったわけです。So、Saul became this, this example of a betrayer for those who were against Jesus。妨害も大きかったことです。And so、this had a lot of impact on them。けれども、抱えているようにサウルはますます神様からの力を得てイエスがメシアだと伝え始めたんです。And yet,、uh, and this also probably had a very negative impact on Saul's life, and yet it says here that he grew more powerful and that he became more powerful in this task of sharing with others that Jesus is the Messiah. それはただ自分に起こった出来事を話す自分のこととして話すだけではなくイエスの十字架と死と十字架の死と復活こそが旧約聖書にも予言されていた本当のメシア救い主の印だと説得国有力のある証言をし,していたということです。And the description here is that he, was, he proved that Jesus is the Christ. And so rather than sort of just saying, you know, oh, this is what happened to me, but it sounds like he was able to persuade people very effectively using the Old Testament and the prophets、uh, to, to show, to demonstrate that Jesus was indeed who he was said to be. And he was so, and he was so powerful that his opponents could only be baffled and could. 
けれどもその最初の戸惑いというのはやがてサウルを殺して黙らせようという態度に変わっていきましたもはや論争しても勝つことはできないとはっきり分かってしまったからですそこで殺す彼を殺す計画を立てましたこんなふうに書いてあります私たちは、彼を殺そうと昼も夜も街の門で見張っていた。そこでサウロの弟子たちは夜の間に彼を連れ出しカゴに乗せて町の城壁伝いに釣り下ろしたこの使徒原稿録は省略しているんですけれどもかなりの日数って本当にすごい日数なんです何日ぐらいだと思いますか、uh, here, after many days,、um, but these many days are, are probably a lot more than what you would consider to be の首都原稿録を書いてありませんけれども、このことはあのガラティア人のガラティアの信徒への手紙というところの一章に詳しく書かれています。サウロ,サウロ自身が書いています。The book of Acts abbreviates the story,、um, but in、uh, the letter to the Galatians, Paul himself writes about this experience in detail. <笑>それによると、サウロはダマスコに入った後、すぐに親しい人と相談することもなく、エリサレムの弟子たちに会,うに会いに行くこともしないで、えー、このダマスコからそれほど遠くない地方アラビアと呼ばれていた地方に移ってそしてその後ダマスコに帰ってきたと書かれて言っていますでサウロ自身がエルサレムに向かったのは3年後だと言っています。まあ、私たちが使うこの3年後というのは当時の言葉で言うと、もしかしたら足掛け3年というふうな意味であったかもしれません。そこでその23節のかなりの日数というのは、まあ、3年ではないにしても1年半か、まあ、2年ぐらいの間があったのではないかと大体考えられています。かなりの時間が経って、サウルの話していることは影響力が大きくなっていって、そして、えー、ついに彼を生かしておくことができないと人々は思い始めた、ずいぶん時間がかかっているということです。そこで、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、それでサウロは人の命を狙うものかな逆に人から命を狙われるものになってしまったわけです。ユダヤ人たちは彼の影響が他のところに広がらないようになんとかダマスコの中でサウロを殺してしまいたいと考えました。それで町の外に出るも24時間交代で見張ってたわけです。もう捕まるしかないという、そのような状態でもサウルたちは当てませんでした。
それは彼らだけの特権ではありません皆さんの特権でもあるんです And thankfully, that's not something that was true just for the believers then, the disciples then, but it's something that's very true for us today. This is a privilege、uh, given to all believers, all who follow Jesus. The story didn't unfold this way simply because the Uh, the disciples were smarter or more cunning than their opponents, or that their opponents were foolish. So, they were not going to say that they were 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 going to say that まずここで一つ皆さんに今日心に覚えて帰っていただきたいことがあります。So really、それはその特権をあなたも持っているということです。Well. この国では 99% の人がその特権を持っていないんです。Country, have 皆さんにも自分にはどうしたらいいかわからないということが起こるわけです。I'm sure that we all experience times when we don't know what to do in our own wisdom and strength. もう自分の力ではどうすることもできないということがたくさん起こります。There are things in our lives that we have very little control over. どうかその時に 99% の人たちと同じようにそこで諦めてしまわないでください。So my recommendation to you is that you know, don't act like the 99% out there who don't realize、uh, that there is an option, there is a way out. God always guides those who seek him. 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 I encourage you,、uh, in whatever circumstance you find yourself, not to panic, but to rely on the power and the help of the Holy Spirit. And when you experience something like that,、uh, a working of the Holy Spirit in your life, don't keep it to yourself, but share that experience with others. Just like with the tools that we have,、um, it's not important that we have tools, it's important that we know how to use them. Of course, the Holy Spirit is not a tool or a thing.、Uh, rather, we're actually tools, we're actually people who need to be used by the Holy Spirit. I think that you all have various tools in your hands. Smartphones, you know, smartphones iPads. <laughs> I've had many because I don't have one yet. But with most of those things, we often don't use it to its full potential. And maybe, you know, there are only very few apps and tools in there that are、uh, essential. So perhaps we don't need to be able to use everything equally, but if there is an excellent tool, really, a tool that will really help us out, it's a shame if we don't learn how to use that. いい I think we have yet to experience and to appreciate the power, the immense power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So please、uh, seek that power. Let's read from verse 26 to 28. Let's read from verse 26 to 28. Let's read from verse 26 to 28. ししし Saulo 
When he came to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. He told them how Saul on his journey had seen the Lord, and that the Lord had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had preached fearlessly in the name of Jesus. So Saul stayed with them and moved about freely in Jerusalem, speaking boldly in the name of the Lord. So, after fleeing Damascus, uh, Saul went to Jerusalem. Three years ago, he had left Jerusalem as a persecutor of Christians, and yet he was coming back three years later as a follower of Jesus. So in some ways, Jerusalem had to have been a more dangerous place to Saul than Damascus was. And perhaps he could have fled somewhere else. But at this point, Saul felt that it was important to see the type of disciples and the apostles. The disciples were, did not trust Saul at this point. They were still afraid of him. You know, strange considering they must have heard some interesting rumors. But Saul must have done some terrible things, and they must have been in fear of him. And so we see this man named Barnabas, who sort of became a go-between between Saul and the disciples, and, and sort of bridged that gap. Oops. Do you remember the name Barnabas? Uh, he, we read about Barnabas actually in chapter 4. Uh, in chapter 4, we read that uh, Barnabas, the name Barnabas meant the son of encouragement, and that he was sort of, according to that good name, he was doing that kind of good work uh, up to that point where he met Saul. And it seems like he played a very key role uh, in this story. Uh, so what Barnabas did was to help um, help the disciples get over their fear and their doubt about Saul and to uh, and help them see that Saul was actually one of them. And and then and only then uh, was Saul able to have a relationship with the disciples. And Barnabas brought them together. Barnabas uh, was not, you know, one of the original disciples, nor, nor was he so chosen uh, for special works of ministry uh, in that early church. And so perhaps compared to some of the leaders in the early church, he was, he was quite ordinary. Anyone who follows Jesus is not, is not alone, does not have to be a lone ranger. It's a group of people brought together uh, with various different backgrounds and experiences and abilities uh, brought together uh, and working together. And the exciting thing is that because we are so different, we can take on different work um, and accomplish something big. We're not asked to do the exact same thing. So there's no need for us within the church to compare ourselves to others, uh, thinking about what we can or can't do, and uh, nor do we have to compare our church with any other church. And 
And it, as we all sort of do our part, we all become functioning members of one bigger body. We've been designed to do different work, but to work sort of in, in collaboration, in conjunction with the entire body of Christ. So Saul was sort of grafted into that body um, through the work and through the uh, mediation of Barnabas. But because he had betrayed uh, the Jews and, and had turned from persecuting to now uh, being a part of the disciples, uh, he was actually a target of hatred, even more so than any of the other believers. So he found that he couldn't say in Jerusalem either. From verse 29 to 31. He talked and debated with the Grecian Jews, but they tried to kill him. When the brothers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. Then the church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria enjoyed a time of peace. It was strengthened and encouraged by the Holy Spirit who grew in numbers, living in the fear of the Lord. また、ギリシャ語を話すユダヤ人と語り議論をしたが、彼らはサウルを殺そうとなっていた。それを知った兄弟たちはサウルを連れてカイサリアに下り、そこから垂れ注いで出発させた。こうして教会はユダヤ、
But despite the panic around them, the believers uh, kept on going. They didn't compromise, but they uh, tried to show love and tried to uh, be wise in, in what they did. And as a result, um, they, they grew and they, were, uh, they enjoyed a time of peace. 地図で地図を見せてお話ししたように、一方、パウロはタルソスに戻って、やがてそこから200キロほど離れたアンティオケアというところに活動の拠点を移します。So, again, Tarsus, Antioch, uh, he, uh, イエスの教えがヨーロッパに広まっていく拠点となった教会。And that church in Antioch、uh, became sort of the hub for the ministry and the missionary work that then、uh, sent the gospel into Europe. この教会を育てるとともに、自分も最後にはローマまで到達します。Uh, uh, and, and just as this church sort of spread itself、um, to other places,、uh, Paul himself、uh, went to Rome later on in his life. でも最初からパウロは自分の計画通りに物事を進めていってローマまで行ったということではないわけです。ごどんな理由でエルサレムを出たんでしょうか逃げ出すしかなかったんです。でその近くにいることもできなかったんです。もちろんダマスコにも行か,行かれません。特に旅館になったなというのです。そうですね。そうですそういう状態になったとき、私たちはどんな気持ちになるでしょうか。何もすることができずに自分は生まれ故郷に帰らなければならないのかと普通思います。And there must have been some sense of disappointment and failure that, you know, I wasn't, I'm not, wasn't successful at anything, and now I'm sort of having to go back home. そのようなサロでしたけれども、そこには神様の綿密な計画が下にちゃんと流れていたんです。But even though on the, on the surface nothing seemed to go according to plan for Saul,、um, God's plan was steadily moving、um, sort of beneath the surface. タルソスに比較的近かったアンティオケアというところにはユダヤでの迫害から逃れた人たちがたくさん移り住んでいました。Uh, in the city of Antioch there are many people who had experienced、uh, persecution from the Jews and had fled there. そこで指導者が必要となったときに教会はあのバルナバをアンティオキアに送ったわけです。And because there are so many people、uh, in, in the of the leader,、um, the disciples sent Barnabas、uh, to Antioch. バルナバはサウルのことをよく覚えていました。Uh, Barnabas remembered Saul well. この人が必要だと思って彼をスカウトしに行ったんです。あバルナバがサウルをタルソスまで探しに行ったんです。バルナバは、えー、サウルの仲間たちに会いに行ったんです。そして2人でアンティオケア教会を育てることになりました。私たちはどんなに素晴らしい計画を立てたとしてもうまくいかないことがあるんです。We can plan elaborate plans and plans that seem good from our perspective, but many times they don't go the way we want it to. But we can learn from them and 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 we can learn from them. You know, despairing the situation seems,、uh, if we trust in the Lord, we will know, we will be given what we need to do next. God can redeem even what appears to be failure or, or mistakes on our part and use that as a part of His plan. この9月で20周年を迎えようとしています。In September, your church、uh, will celebrate its 20th year anniversary. でも
私たちも決してその計画通りの順調な出発をして、よし、教会を作ろうというようにして始まったわけではない。ここで教会を始めることよりももっとしたいことは他にたくさんあったんです。ところが神様はその一つ一つの可能性を閉じ,閉じられました。日本で今教会を始めることよりもアメリカに逃げ出そうと思ってたんです。私は、まあ、日本に行きたいと思っていたので、ここに行きたいと思っていたので、ここに行きたいと思っていたので、ここに行きたいと思っていたので、ここに行きたいと思っていたので、ここに行きたいと思っていたので、ここに行きたいと思っていたので、それでミーティングをするために行ったんですけれどもでもすべてのことはなくなりました。So、I to, I, I and, and had meetings, but nothing seemed to work out the way I wished. 帰ってきたくなかったんです。And there were, I didn't want to come back, so I wanted to find some way to make it work. 少しでもこう引き伸ばそうと思って直接帰ってこなくてハワイに行ったんです。<笑> really wanted, I didn't want to come back so badly that I stopped in Hawaii on my way back. ハワイにもそれほどいい話はありませんでした。でもそこで神様は一つの出会いを与えてくださいました。So、そこでその人を通して神様は私が行くべきところはこの国だというふうにおっしゃった。And through that person, I,、uh, God spoke to me and said that the place that I needed to be was in Japan. And I was told that, that what I needed to do was to go back to Japan and start a new church. なので、ある意味仕方なく始めたわけです。So, in some ways, I reluctantly started the church. もちろん今それが神様の意思だというふうに信じています。But obviously, at this point, I look back and think, wow, that was all part of God's will and His design.、Uh, but even after I you know, decided to start this church,、uh, I was met by a series of challenges. There are many times when I felt like building a church was kind of like making a mountain out of sand. And it's not just me or the leaders of this church that helped to build it up. There are many people who were once a part of our ministry but then moved on to other places who are no longer with us. And all of those people、uh, have sort of scattered to different parts of the globe and they're doing their work, their ministry there. Some people have gone home to heaven to be with God. And we've also made mistakes of、uh, sort of trusting someone that we probably shouldn't have trusted and, and sort of having problems because of that. それでも私たちはこの時代の教会のように主を恐れ精霊の慰めを受けて基礎が固まって発展してきたわけです。But because we, in all of this, we have continually sought God's face and we've relied on the Holy Spirit for, for comfort and for direction,、um, our, our church has been strengthened and, and just like this church, we've been built up. イエスに従うものが神様はそのように私たちの失敗や私たちの足りないところもその計画の中に盛り込んでそしてその計画を進めてくださいます。Uh, the areas in which we're lacking and sort of, sort of enfolds that, consumes that into his plan. God has brought each of us here. 
組み合わせて用いるためです。And he has brought us here to, to work together、uh, to be used for his work. 神様はどのようなことを基準に私たちを集められるんでしょうか w o n d e r what God, what sort of standards or what God uses to decide who to bring here? I think it's something that we will never figure out. But I think if we look at Jesus' words in the gospel, there is something we can say. So, we have to say that 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 Really doesn't care what your past is, what, what happened in the past. I think to any greater or lesser extent, we each have things about our past that we're not especially proud or excited about. I think we've experienced failure and things that we really don't want to look back on. 人間は何か人を何かするために採用するときにその人の過去を過去で判断するわけです。Job, you, you, judge judge people, um, だから昔に悪いレコードがあればその人は信頼してもらえないのその時どんなに誠実な思いを持ってたんでしょう And so, if we have some you know, blight in our past, no matter how we feel today or what we're capable of today, that past continues to haunt us. And so, in human society, oftentimes the mistakes we've、uh, made in the past impact what we can or can't do in the future. But Jesus is different. And the body of Christ needs to mirror that and also be different. もし私たちが人を迎え入れるのにあたってその人の過去がどうだったかということを気にするならば私たちはキリストの体ではないことになるでしょう。If, uh, church, the past,、um, the 私たちは日本の平均的な教会に比べればみんなが全然違う背景を持っているということに慣れているそれはとても恵まれていると思います。Think we're blessed because just, you know, just because of who get, the people who gather here, we're more used to diversity than, than perhaps the average Japanese church. もちろんその反省をする、昔の自分のことを考えて反省するということが大事ではないと言っているわけではありません。Of course, I'm not saying that we shouldn't be reflective and, and sort of change what we need to about ourselves in looking at the past. But what I really want you to take away and to remember is that God doesn't judge us based on what we did, what we thought. Uh, in the past, he cares about how we feel and what we believe and what we desire today. Because no matter how horrible、uh, you were in the past or what horrible things you did in the past, God can still use you. Look at Saul. His sole purpose in life was to kill believers of Jesus. うう But God is a God who can change a person like that. And He can change us too. I worry a little bit because if I sort of overemphasize this idea of change, I feel like people you know, tie themselves in all sorts of knots and contortions, feeling like, oh, I need to change this and I need to change that. And that's not what I want to say at all. むしろ私たちの能力とか私たちの何か内側が変わるというよりは私たちの立場が変わる。I think that in emphasizing change, we want to ch- think about sort of a change in our stance, a change in our perspective, rather than sort of the need to change some specific thing about ourselves. We have been made children. 
ナウロは反対者のままで反対者でいたものが子供にされたんです And so for Saul, he went from being God's opponent, a persecutor, to being his child. こんなふうにして私たちはこの20年、私は20年の歩みこんなに恵まれた思いで迎えることができるとは全く思っていませんでした。So I, I feel extremely blessed and extremely、uh, grateful that I can、uh, sort of welcome this 20th anniversary、uh, in this church right now. でもこの物語に先があるんです。But we also need to remember that the story doesn't end here. さらに神様は私たちをあのアンティオケアの教会のようにそ,その教会自体の成長にとどまらずに新しい働きに使ってくださるということを信じているんです。Just as the church in Antioch didn't just grow and just become a big church, but rather spread to different parts of the world,、uh, so I believe that God has bigger things in store for us and things He wants us to do. 多くの人が日本の教会はなんて低調なんだろうと心配しているんです。Many people are worried that sort of Japanese churches are sort of stale and sort of are stuck in a rut. 北朝鮮や中国のように迫害されることもないのになんでなんだとみんな神学者たちも牧師たちも悩んでいるんです。So there are many Bible scholars and pastors who are wondering why is that? You know, it's not as if we're experiencing Active persecution like churches in China or in North Korea. But I don't feel any sense of despair. And it's because I believe that God is inviting us to take part in, in His story,、uh, whatever He plans to do next. 過去を感謝するだけではなくて、この将来を期待できる20周年を迎えることができるなんて素晴らしいことかと思います。And so I'm so grateful to be able to、uh, look back at the past, but also be able to look forward、um, on this year of our 20th anniversary. 神様いつも、見よう私は新しいことをするとおっしゃいます。God always says to us, look, I'm doing a new thing. この国の状態について私たちは諦める必要がありません。So、この国の人がイエスに従うものになるために私たちを神様に用いてくださいます。ですから感謝して、今日、日本の人たちは、ですから感謝して、そして必要なら忍耐をして、期待をして、しっかりと一歩一歩歩みを進めていきましょう。So let us give thanks and, and wait in expectation for all the good things God will do and to take one step at a time、uh, to follow after Him. Let's pray. God, we pray that you would. Work in our hearts to help us become,、uh, experience more freedom in you. Please free us from,、uh, from prejudice and from, from getting stuck in a rut in our thinking. Please remind us of the great privilege that we have、uh, by your Holy Spirit. あなたはそのままの私たちを招いてくださいました。God, you call us just as we are. あなたが知恵と力を必要な時に与えてくださることを私たちは信じています。And we believe that you give us all the strength and wisdom that we need. あなたはすべての国民を弟子としなさいと言われました。どうぞその正しい意味を教えてください。Please teach us what that means. そしてここで私たちを用いてそのことを実現してください。どうぞそのために一人一人の
心と体をあなたが強くしてください。どうぞ私たち自身の思い煩いをあなたが引き受けてくださっていることを知ることができますように。Help us to experience,、uh, your care for us. 精霊をどうぞ触れてください。Holy Spirit, please touch us now. これから私たちはあなたに向かって歌います。We, we now sing to you. どうか。この時あなたをにあなたから聞くことができますよ。どうぞ一人一人にご自身を表してください。期待してイエス・キリストの名前によって祈ります。Thank、you